hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys can tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about who is keeping an eye on you? So pile number one, you're going to be the black obsidian heart shape crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the amethyst heart shape crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the red jasper heart shape crystal. So again, pile number one, you're going to be the black obsidian heart-shaped crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the amethyst heart-shaped crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the red jasper heart-shaped crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your bio. Hi Bowen, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the black obsidian crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous power or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, who's keeping an eye on you? Who's keeping an eye on you, my pal number one? Who is keeping an eye on you? Somebody's pissed. Pissed. <laughs> what the heck is going on? We're already starting off the reading with some drama. <laughs> Who is this? Oh my god, this person is stressed out my pal number one no this is somebody who's keeping tabs keeping their eyes on you they're watching your every move and they don't like what they're seeing this is somebody who's stressed out they don't like what they are seeing at all whatever they're seeing about you that close eye they're keeping that, that nosy they're not liking it it's stressing them out <laughs> god i'm so sorry for laughing but it's kind of funny because it's like this person is doing this to themselves okay like why are you not minding your business so who's keeping an eye on you okay so we have the death card scorpio energy we have the tower we also have the seven of wands so you may have blocked this person yeah you may have blocked this person and we have the seven of pentacles okay so we have four cards that already popped up so this tells me that there could have been like a tower moment between you and this person you may have blocked them i heard a while back it could have been seven months ago 14 months ago so a year and a half almost a year and a half well a year like two months okay because 14. Uh, we also have the death card. So there was definitely an ending between the two of you, you and this person that is keeping an eye on you. And they're having a tower moment because maybe you moved on already. Now you're on to someone else. This could be somebody that you um, dated or an ex. But this is definitely giving me romantic energy, okay? Some of you, it could have been like somebody who wanted to have a one night stand with you or they, didn't want it, they wanted to have a friends with benefit and nothing more this is what i'm getting here you have blocked it you have blocked this person so they're no longer they no longer have access to you and they're having a hard time coping with that because maybe they thought that they're going to come back into your life whenever they please like in and out 
and you were like, nah, we're not doing this. Who the hell do you think you are? Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands and I say player energy. I knew it. I sensed that. This is a player that is keeping an eye on you. This is somebody who wanted to have one night stands with you or like just, you know, use you as like friends with benefit. Like they get the benefit of a relationship, but with no real commitment. This is what this person wanted from you. Maybe initially, it's not that you went along with it. It's that maybe initially this person wasn't clear about their intentions and they were like dragging their feet or stringing you along and you probably just had enough of it and you're like, you know what, I'm not doing this with this person. If they don't want anything serious with me, I'm just gonna bounce. And this is what I'm getting here with the Knight of Wands, okay? You decided to bounce from this person and now they feel like it's a missed opportunity with you with the Four of Cups. This person's stressed out. That's what they get, like, boy, bye. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This is somebody who like they, Okay, this person had feelings for you and they still do. That's why they are in the Nine of Swords energy. However, this person is inconsistent when it comes to showing up in a connection, showing up in a relationship, being, you know, making the effort to be present. Okay, this is what I'm getting here with this person. And now they want to come back in with a love offer with a Nine of Cups. This person is keeping an eye on you because they want to see if you already moved on. And for some of you, they're seeing that you have with the nine of swords and this is why they're stressed out. They can't sleep at night. This person cannot eat. They're having a hard time. <laughs> they're having, I'm sorry for laughing guys, because this is what I'm getting. This person's having a hard time. Like they're stressing out, uh, okay? But I'm laughing not because I like, oh, that's good for them. It's more like, but like, why did you put yourself in that situation? You could have like, you could have avoided this by being honest about your feelings from the jump. This person was playing games and they thought that they're going to have you like eating at the palm of their hands and then you jumping through hoops to prove yourself to them. And you're like, no, I'm not doing that. If you don't see my worth, you don't see that I'm worthy of your time, your energy, then I'm not going to continue doing this. And you left and you bounce and this person. Yeah, they're very cold with the king of swords. They could be very head over heart. Okay. They don't really um, use their heart. They use their their head when they make a logical decision. And they could be somebody who's very strategic in their approach. So they play a lot of mind games, a lot of manipulation, a lot of word play, okay? This person's really good with their words. They may have the gift of gab, but this person's really good. Like they could have Gemini in their chart because I'm getting like magician energy with the King of Swords. So they could have Gemini. So they could be very good at speaking. Um, really great communicator so they know how to embellish the truth this is what I'm getting here or make it sound like you know they know how to sell you a pipe dream this is what I'm getting here with the king of swords and the knight of cups okay they know exactly what to tell you to make you fall for them and they're not gonna catch you the knight of cups does not catch you the knight of cups will romance you sweep you off your feet but baby if you don't have something to a parachute to catch you <laughs> you're gonna be falling okay this is what i'm getting here so who's keeping an eye on you yeah five of wands this conflict here now this person feels like there's a lot of competition for you but maybe this person had you in a lot of competition initially when they were in your life but now they definitely feel like it's it's a challenge we have the moon card okay this is somebody who brought in a lot of illusion a lot of confusion okay pisces energy we have, woo, we have the two of swords and it's written in reverse. So this person's clear about you. They made up their mind about you. They could have been like wishy-washy, okay, indecisive. This is what I'm getting here now. Yeah, they're coming in with an offer, a solid offer. So you could expect a phone call from this person or some sort of communication coming up soon from this person with some sort of solid offer with the knight, uh, with the ace of pentacles. But it's really up to you if you want to take this person's offer, but they're coming in with something, okay? They're not going to come back in with empty handed because they don't like what they're seeing. They're seeing you moving on. Yeah, they're having, guys, I can't make it up with this person. <laughs> they're trapped in fear. This person's stressed out. When I tell you stressed out, you don't even know. Like this person may not even be sleeping at night. Like, you know, this is like the type of person that, you know, stays on their phone from midnight to like six o'clock going through your pictures, messages. Like, you know, if like people will write stuff to you on your post, they go through that person's profile and see what's <laughs> Oh my God. This is too much. Like this person needs to chill. Like what? 
Yeah, we have the, this is the page of wands. This is somebody who could be younger than you or very, um, they love attention. This is somebody who could be very good looking. Okay. I'm, I'm getting like this person uses their looks to get what they want. And it may have worked in the past with you, maybe initially at the beginning, but then you got kind of like tired of the same old, same old, like the same repetitive game that this person was playing and it was played out. Like you got an, you had enough. We have the two of wands. Yeah, this person is contemplating, planning on com coming towards you with an offer, but they're kind of worried that you might reject them with the nine of swords. There's a lot of stress here. Okay, we have the seven of cups. Like this person sees you as having a lot of options now and they're kind of scared that you may not even consider them as one of your options, okay? Because they had their chance. So who's keeping an eye on you, my pal number one? Who's keeping an eye on you? Yeah, somebody from your past. You see they're reminiscing about you and how it was initially. Because I feel like initially when you guys first started getting to know each other, it was going great until this person got a big head, their ego got inflated. Maybe they had, like I said, other options that were like gassing them up. So they felt like, yeah, my other options are chasing me. So you should chase me, my pal number one. Like, boy, bye. Pal number one, don't chase no one, okay? Pal number one will replace your let me not let me stop <laughs> we have the six of cups so this person is understanding that now yeah they're trying to manifest you back didn't i say magician energy they're trying to manifest you back this person you could be thinking about them a lot okay Woo, we have the devil at the bottom of the deck but i can't show you guys that card i'm just gonna show it like that but this is lust this person's lusting after you they want to have a passionate encounter with you if you guys have not been intimate with this person this person thinks about it and if you have been intimate with this person my gosh like this person thinks about the last time that you guys been intimate if you have and they can't get enough of it let's say if you guys been intimate and you haven't spoken like i said maybe seven months to 14 months like they've been intimate with other people and it does not compare to you and this person is like definitely lusting after your energy especially with the knight of wands knight of wands is player energy but this person is like yo they cannot get enough of your sexual energy is so potent it is so addictive to this person and they can't get enough of it i'm getting like this person wants you so bad and if like i said if you have not been intimate with them they want to be intimate with you okay yeah this person with the ten of cups you make them happy every time they think about you they think about the good old days or the good moments that you guys had together they think about it all the time like it brings them a lot of joy and they feel foolish for letting you out like letting you go letting you leave we have the five of pentacles yeah they feel left out in the cold they want to have some sort of victory with you with the six of wands they do this could be somebody who is very popular too with the six of wands they could have like you know their own business they could be very successful in their career as well i'm gonna like this is somebody who is well known they could be well known in their community they could be well known in their workplace okay they have some sort of success where people respect them with the six of wands or respect what they bring to the table okay and they do have like because they have that success they get a lot of attention this is what i'm getting here but you see seven of swords this person was deceptive they lied they were sneaky wow ten of swords yeah there was like an abrupt ending maybe they feel i feel like this person feels backstabbed or betrayed by you for leaving them high and dry maybe you like the seven of wands you may have blocked this person so they kind of feel some type of way about you blocking them it kind of bruised their ego i'm not gonna lie this is what i'm getting here this person's ego is kind of bruised by you cutting them off and like leaving them high and dry that's why they're having a tower moment because they're not used to that they could be used to people like coming back running back chasing them and you didn't do that you didn't chase this person even if you've been intimate with them you're like no it doesn't matter like just because we've been intimate doesn't mean like you owe me so this person really feels like you're the one that got away and with the seven of swords they were like they were not being honest with you throughout this whole connection this whole relationship they know that they lied they weren't being honest okay there was a lot of dishonesty in this connection and backstabbing 
Yeah, we have the strength card. This person is trying to gather their strength. They're trying to be courageous to come towards you. This is somebody who emotionally withdrew from you with the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And they're trying to muster up the courage to come back. Yeah, the Three of Swords. I cut the deck open. This person's heartbroken. Okay, yeah, you see King of Swords. I'm telling you, they're in the King of Swords energy. They're trying to find a strategic way to come back to you, especially with the Seven of Swords. And when they come back, even though they come back with the Ace of Pentacles, they're still going to come back with lies and deception or manipulation. They're not going to be like straight up with you. They may even hide the fact that they have been watching you, they have been keeping an eye on you, and that they have been stressing about what they're seeing. And if you are already in a new relationship, this person is going to try not to sabotage it but just to come in to make you second guess your decision to leave them okay they're going to try to find a way to get you back that's what they want they want a second chance they want some sort of victory with you okay so we're going to be using the astrodice charmies and initials to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so the astrodice could be your sign or this person's sign the charmies is how they feel about you. And the initials could be your initials or this person's initials, okay? Okay, so who's keeping an eye on you? We have Leo. Second house, so they could have Leo in second house. Or they could have Leo in... Um, I was going, oh my gosh, uh, Pl not Pluto, um, oh my gosh, the planet is not coming to me, Saturn, holy moly, okay, Pluto and Saturn, or uh, Pluto and Saturn, my gosh, Pluto, uh, oh my gosh, Saturn, <laughs> Leo and Saturn, or Leo in second house, yeah, you see this person does not want me to talk, <laughs> so who's keeping an eye on you? So we have K, N, so this person could like to travel because the plane is here. We have A, C, M, F, R, Z, B, G, X, for some of you it's an X, M again, M again with L, D, I, F E. This person could be from the Caribbean. Okay. Because the palm tree or like somewhere tropical, Africa, Asia, somewhere where it's hot, sunny, or they have like palm tree. This person could also be from France, Paris. Maybe th this person, if it's a woman, she likes to wear red lipsticks. Okay. She has. Plum, plump lips so that could be you or this person wants to kiss you I'm getting like this person wants to kiss you they want to make out okay this person feels like you are divine with the feathers with the wings yeah this person could be in a prestigious position with the crown I really feel like this is somebody who's well known okay in their community or that could be you as well we have the butterfly this person is feeling transformed they feel like you're beautiful and like this is a mermaid's tail you're very exotic or hypnotic to this person they're very drawn to you there's a lot of, like a heavy passion that they feel towards you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number one Bye. Hi, Baltu. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the Amethyst Crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, who 
who's keeping an eye on you? Who's keeping an eye on you, my pal number two? Who is keeping an eye on you? We have the Four of Cups. Somebody who may feel like it's a missed opportunity with you. They may want to rekindle this connection with you. Yeah, it's like a missed opportunity. Disappointment I'm getting. This person's disappointed in themselves. They had the chance to be with you, to be in a genuine connection with you, but they played games. They, they didn't take the opportunity to be with you. So who's keeping an eye on you? What do we have here? We have the Three of Wands and we have the Queen of Cups. So this person could be a water sign, could be a uh, fire sign, okay? So we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or it could be a um, Leo, Aries, Sag, okay? Don't have to be. But this is somebody who is in tune with their emotions. But this is somebody who may have like neglected their feelings or dismissed their feelings for you or put their feelings for you in the back burner. With the Three of Wands, they could be contemplating coming towards you with an offer. Who's keeping an eye? Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords. This person has a lot of anxiety about you guys coming together or being in a connection or rekindling. Like, they're not sure if you're going to want to be with them again or if you're still interested. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles are coming in with a love offer. With a solid offer. I feel like maybe this person put their um, career before you. Like they were working really hard, like um, they could be very busy. This could be somebody who has a lot going on on their, like a lot on their plate. Yeah, we have the hangman, Pisces energy. This person is like kind of like at a standstill right now. I'm getting like this person. Yeah, I feel like they have a lot of things going on for themselves that kept them kind of like busy and then they did not prioritize you. But I feel like this person wants to prioritize you now. Like. And it's not like they didn't see your worth. I'm not getting any of that. They saw your worth. It's just that work came in between this connection and they kind of feel like it was their fault. They could have like, you know, communicated that to you where they could have told you like, yo, I'm really busy with work, but I want to make time. I want to, I want to, you know, be with you. I want to get to know you. Like this person did not communicate their, their true feelings for you with the queen of cups. Okay. And now they're worried that it might be too late, especially with the uh, nine of swords and the four of cups this person wants to have some sort of victory with you they could be extremely successful when it comes to their career when it comes to their abundance i don't know if you guys heard that in the background the confirmation but when it comes to their career they could be doing very well for themselves with the six of wands okay we have the page of pentacles yeah this is somebody who breadcrumbs you who gave you the bare minimum with the page of pentacles this is somebody who may not have given you a lot of their time, their energy. Okay, they did not invest too much with with uh, in you. Yeah, I can't even speak. This person doesn't want me to talk. We have the chariot, cancer energy. So like I did say water. So this person could have water heavy in their chart because we have cancer and we have Pisces here and then we have the queen of cups, four of cups. Okay, so... Um, this is definitely giving me the vibe that this is somebody who's always on the go. They could have like a very busy lifestyle or they could always have something to do with the chariot energy. They could always be moving on to the next thing. Not that they're hopping from one relationship to the other, but it's more like they have a lot on their plate with the chariot. So they may have multiple businesses that they're running. They could, you know, have a, a business and then they have a nine to five and then they have, you know, other hobbies that they're doing. So like the whole day, they're always like moving on the go, 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 go. They're never like sitting down and just chilling for a bit they, they it's not that they can't do that but this person could have like they could be restless okay wow we have the ten of swords there could have been like an abrupt ending with you and this person with the ten of swords Ooh, we have the devil but it's in reverse which is a good thing the devil in reverse is a really good card 
um, to have this is like giving me releasing himself or herself from some sort of addiction or some sort of a bondage this person could be a workaholic with the devil in reverse maybe they're taking back their power like maybe something happened to them where now this person is going to have to slow down and by slowing down it's going to allow them to reevaluate themselves so they're reevaluating themselves reevaluating their life choices the decision that they're making and where they want to be five ten years from now because this person i feel like they don't have a healthy work-life balance and right now they're being forced to prioritize their personal life and not overdoing it with work because i really feel like work is taking over this person's life and it's not healthy for them and it's like affecting their social life obviously it is if it has affected this connection with you and it also has affected connection with other people in their lives important people in their lives and i feel like you are one of those people that they deem important and they want to make some sort of effort now we have the star and we have the six of swords now this person wants to move to calmer waters with you they want to heal this connection this person could be a capricorn aquarius cusper don't have to be or they could be Pisces or Cancer here, or they could just have those elements in their chart or just embody that energy. But with the Six of Swords here, this person wants to move to calmer waters with you. They want to make amends with you and they want to heal this connection with the star. They feel very drawn to you. They feel like you have a healing energy. They feel like you're magnetic as well with the star. You're very popular or you just have this originality about you. You're authentic, you're real, and this person really enjoys. Like It's like a breath of fresh air. They Maybe they've never experienced that or the last time that they've experienced that was a while back and it's like so refreshing to be around somebody like you, okay? This person really they genuinely care for you i'm really getting that vibe i'm not getting a bad vibe from this person yeah but the, we have the knight of pentacles in reverse so this tells me that this person was very stagnant or they weren't moving or they weren't making any progress towards you this is going to change yeah we have the hermit they're reevaluating their life like i said okay virgo energy this person may be in hermit mode right now they could be going through the dark night of the soul as well and they are definitely reminiscing about you with the six of cups this is definitely somebody who may have like this person they didn't like i said they didn't prioritize you when you guys were like talking to each other because i feel like right now you guys are not in communication with each other but i kind of sense that my pal number two you would be open to this person again if they were to come back and reach out because i feel like the feeling for what you guys have for each other is mutual like you like them they like you you just felt like this person was not prioritizing you initially so you decided to leave the connection but i feel like this person wants to make an effort to show you that they care that show you that they're consistent show you that they want this they want to be with you they're thinking about you a lot okay with the six of cups they feel like you guys are soulmates okay who is keeping an eye on you yeah four of wands soulmate energy okay this is somebody who wants to build something solid with you they see themselves in the future with you with the four of wands okay we have the ten of pentacles this could be somebody who's financially stable financially abundant and it gives me that vibe because this person's a workaholic they are so that means they like they're in i'm also getting like this is somebody who has like amassed a lot of money they could be wealthy or on their way to becoming wealthy i'm really getting like the vibe that this person has like yeah the lovers i'm telling you they see you as a their twin flame with the lovers here they want a union with you okay this person could have gemini in their chart we have gemini virgo uh, um aquarius pisces this person could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cuss as well. We have Pisces. Um, we also have Capricorn and um, Cancer here. Okay. We also have the Six of Pentacles. This person wants to equally give to this connection. They want to balance things out with you. This person is kind of regretful. They know that it was their mistake. So who's keeping an eye on you? Who's keeping an eye on you, my pal? Yeah, Ten of Wands. They could be burdened by work. They, I feel like this person has a lot, like I said, on their plate. 
who's keeping an eye on you we have the six of pentacles like i said yeah they want to equally give to you with the six of pentacles they want to balance out this connection they don't want you to feel left out in the cold they may come in with an apology as well who's keeping an eye on you we have libra with justice yeah they want to make things right we have the scale twice because we have the scale in this card and now we have the scale on justice so this person wants to balance out the scales and we have all the air signs here so this person could be an air sign so they tend to think a lot to overthink things to overanalyze things at times we also have virgo okay that likes to overanalyze things at times as well okay um, this person could be prone to um, anxiety because they overthink or they make a situation worse than it is okay so this is what i'm getting here from this person so who's keeping an eye on you we have the king of swords guys i'm telling you, this person could definitely be an air sign head over heart decisions okay this person could be extremely calculative um i'm also getting like diplomatic and it makes sense because we have justice here diplomatic is like libra's um energy Okay, because Libra is the diplomat of the Zodiac. So definitely this person is looking to balance this connection with you. They want to have some sort of communication, heart to heart co communication with you as well. This is what I'm getting here. Yeah, this person sees you as wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. You are this person's desires. That's why they feel foolish for letting you go or for not um, taking this relationship seriously. You see, I can't even speak. They don't want me to talk. They, they feel like they should have taken this relationship more seriously or, you know, when they had the chance so that way they don't have, like, they wouldn't find themselves in this uh, this predicament. You could expect some sort of communication with this person. And you see, I can't even speak. So this person could have, like, a hard time expressing themselves. There's a lot of passion here with the page, um, not the page. Wow, I can't speak. Holy moly. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person could be, they may have a, they may struggle to express themselves emotionally. Okay, this is somebody with the King of Swords. Like, you know, if it's like explaining some, some complex math problem, they could do this with ease. Okay, tell you about politics, you know, all of that good jazz. They could do that with ease with the King of Swords, you know, with the star, the lovers and justice, like, you know, with the air energy. But when it comes to how they feel, this person's mute. Okay, they can't talk. They can't speak. Cat got their tongue okay this is what i'm getting here and also with the knight of pentacles in reverse this is somebody who was kind of like slow to open up or stagnant there was some sort of stagnant energy or went surrounding this person and their commitment or their openness to communicate how they truly feel about you this person's like deep in their emotions for you because we have the queen of cups they had feelings for you all along it's just that they never acted on those emotions with the king of swords they just decided to stay stoic about it okay this is what i'm getting here this person is more like yeah like you know no feeling show no feeling show like you know just be poker face like this is the energy from this person they may have a really good poker face okay this is what i'm getting here with this person but expect some sort of communication for some of you it could be eight weeks or eight days but number eight is significant or this person could be the born on the eighth of the month or something like that i'm getting like june 8th october 8th or february 8th and these are all the air signs month okay so we're going to be using the astrodice charmies and initials to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so it could be your sign or this person's sign okay for the charmies not the charmies for the astrodice and then uh for the charmies is how they feel about you and the initials is either yours or theirs okay so who's keeping an eye on you my pal number two who is keeping an eye on you we have fifth house the house of passion leo energy we have mars and we have aries <coughs> excuse me guys so this person could have Aries and fifth house or Aries and Mars 
which will be like um, Aries is ruling planet. So this person could be very fiery. I heard hothead. They could be a hothead as well. Okay, so we have N, N again, L, X, J, L, F, W, R, S, T, I, D. Okay, this person could be an American or you could be an American here or they live in the States or something like that. You have the key to this person's heart because I have a heart here and then there's a, there's a lock. Okay, you have this person's heart. Ooh, this person wants to, oh my gosh. I heard bust a nut, okay? <laughs> they want to have an intimate encounter with you. This person thinks that you're beautiful because this is giving me like a mirror shape. They want to come in with some sort of gift something beautiful some of you it could be like a jewelry or something or they like to wear jewelries they think about you a lot at night they dream about you like you come in this person's dream often okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two Bye. Hi, Bell 3. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number three, you picked the red jasper crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, who's keeping an eye on you? Who's keeping an eye on you? What do we have here? We have the Ten of Cups. Hmm. This is somebody, it could be a family member keeping an eye on you. Yeah. I'm not getting love. Even though the Ten of Cups could represent love, you know, a family unit, like, you know, your um, family that you created, not the family that you come from, okay? But I'm getting like this is family that you come from. Somebody in your family keeping an eye on you. Or somebody that you considered family keeping an eye on you. Yeah, this is what I'm getting here. I don't feel like it's love, but it could be. We'll see. Who's keeping an eye on you? Yeah, it's giving me hater vibes. Ten of cups in reverse. Emotionally manipulative. Okay, an emotionally manipulative individual could be a masculine, don't have to be, could also be a woman, but I'm getting like somebody who's emotionally manipulative. Eight of Wands, this person could be at a distance from you. They may want to communicate with you. Um, this person may use their bond that they have with you to come back into your good graces. Who's keeping an eye on you? Wow, we have the Four of Pentacles. This could be somebody who's selfish, self-centered, a penny pincher. Somebody who could be struggling financially as well. Like, you know, they have to penny pinch. Like, they're really tight on money with the Four of Pentacles. That's why they're holding on to... They could be possessive as well. Very controlling with their money. There's a lot of emotional manipulation with the King of Cups in reverse. Emotionally unavailable as well. Who's keeping... Yeah, this is somebody who's very cold with the Queen of Swords. Like, the Queen of Swords, you know, it's not a bad energy. But what I'm getting here, especially with the King of Cups in reverse, if the King of Cups was upright with the Queen of Swords, that would have been like a really good, you know, energy. This could be somebody who is emotional, but also 
um, intellectually very balanced but with the queen of swords upright and the king of cups in reverse this is somebody who is very cold they could be very mean and nasty with their words okay with the queen of swords and the king of cups in reverse because that means they don't really care about people's emotions how they feel they only care about what they can get out of a situation and they could be very um, manipulative with their emotions and they're very nasty with their words with the queen of swords this is what i'm getting here okay so who is yeah we have the nine of cups this could be somebody who's very selfish who only thinks about their desires and what they want at the expense of others okay with the nine of cups this is somebody who does not even think or care about how their action is going to affect the other person as long as they get what they want they're good they're very greedy they will do anything for money this person is very smart with the queen of swords they're highly intelligent but this person uses their intelligence to hurt other people and get what they want. Who's keeping an eye on you? We have the two of pentacles. Yeah, this could be somebody who may have a lot on their plate at the moment and they could be some they could be in need of a, some sort of financial help. Who's keeping an, um, an eye on you? Who's keeping an eye on you? Yeah, we have the queen of wands. This could be somebody who's very good looking. Wow. Ooh. Guys, Mm -mm. this is more than one person there's a couple here they came beside each other this is a couple it could be husband and wife boyfriend girlfriend some of you could be a friend like a couple friends that are like is a couple like you know you know the woman and then the man is you know the husband or whatever or vice versa you know the man and then the wife but they're keeping an eye on you 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 have a group of people my pile number three it's not just one person it could be four people or three people because i kind of feel like the queen of swords and the king of cups go together but the queen of wands and the king of wands is two people definitely two people it's like it's a couple because they came right together okay and those, that's who's keeping tabs on you you have a group of people that is keeping tabs on you keeping an eye on you they're probably gossiping about you as well even though the page of source is not here but i'm getting like gossip energy who's keeping an um eye on you who's keeping an eye on you yeah there's something to do with money because the ace of pentacles is in reverse it's in reverse so something about money is not financially stable it's not abundant they're not doing well they're not progressing yeah we have the, the five of cups like there is something sadness sorrow regret and we also have the chariot okay fast forward movements mm -mm. and then we have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck Whoever these people are that are keeping an eye on you is not for a good reason. They're watching your money, they're watching your pockets and they can come back. They want to come back and ask you for money or try to offer you something that is not solid where if you take it, you're going to be in the five of cups. You're going to have a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow that you embarked on this journey with these people. They're trying to find a way to manipulate you or to get you to say yes to some sort of endeavor, financial endeavor where you will be coming out of pocket in order to make it successful. Like you will be losing in the and if you were to um, be in a, some sort of connection with these people or some sort of partnership, I'm telling you, we have the Ten of Swords that came out in reverse. So this is giving me like these people may could be a oh, wow. They don't want me to talk, but there is some sort of partnership. And I say, I'm telling you, they want to work with you with the Three of Pentacles, but their intentions are not pure with the three with the. Uh, ten of swords in reverse though that tells me that the ten of swords is not going to happen the abrupt ending that they are wishing for you is happening upon them so it could be people that are watching you win it could be people i'm really gonna like heavy on family with the ten of cups like people in your family keeping an eye on you watching like count, counting your pockets you know counting your money watching your pocket and they're trying to see like you know how they could create some sort of tower in your life but the ten of swords is happening to them it's not happening to you yeah i'm telling you it's something to do with money they're greedy this four, four of pentacles is greedy man look at his face like he's whole hoarding the money like hoarding his money the jewelry and look at his face he doesn't look like he wants to share he looks so greedy look how he's gripping the bag 
like I'm telling you, this is somebody or people, I'm really like people that want to take your money or take some sort of abundance that you have created for yourself and make you have some sort of ten of swords where it's like it ends abruptly for you. But because the five of cups is here, this is telling me that these people have not been successful at doing so and it's giving them a hard time. Yeah, five of swords, guys, I can't make it up. Uh, these are people that are angry with you. You see, there's three people on the card. I'm telling you, it could be three people because I'm really getting a queen of swords and the king of cups is one person that has some sort of duality in their personality or something. Or they're just like, you know, one minute they're happy, next minute they're sad. Or, and it's like, you know, it could happen that one minute you're happy, next minute you're sad because it could be like some sort of event that happens. But I'm gonna like, this person is just like, it, there's nothing that happened. They just get upset out of nowhere okay they have like some sort of emotional imbalance or something like that yeah they feel like it's a missed opportunity with you with the four of cups but they want to create some sort of tower in your life they're kind of they're really upset and they're speaking angry words over your life we have the magician yeah they're trying to manifest some sort of downfall for you but because these people do not understand how the law of attraction work how the universe work how you know the cause of it uh, in effect Whatever you wish upon someone else, you are wishing upon yourself. And that's what they're not understanding. Whatever they sent out to you is coming back to them tenfold. That's why the Ten of Swords is in reverse. It's not happening for you. You're not going to experience this Ten of Swords because you did not deserve this Ten of Swords. You didn't do anything to these people. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, your abundance. They're watching your money. It could be like some sort of inheritance that you have been, you have received or you are about to run into some sort of money that is owned to you and they can't hold like they can't stop it yeah we have six of cups family members i'm telling you people from your past some of you could be family members some of you could be people from your past you know ex-friends as well because i said that it could be people that you've considered family with a ten of cups okay but it's a group of people it's not one person that's keeping an eye on you and they're not keeping an eye on you for good reasons. They're just watching to see that, you know, if you are experiencing some sort of karma, are you go, like, you know, experiencing a downfall or something, or things are not progressing for you. That's what they're hoping for. That's what they're looking for. And they're not seeing that. But in their life, they're experiencing some sort of like downfall where they're financially, like they're financially tight, their money is tight. They can't make moves. Yeah, they are working in cahoots together with the three of pentacles and then we have the eight of pentacles. They are extremely invested in your life. They watch you like a hawk. We have the four of pentacles again, four, four, four. You are protected. We actually have quadruple four because we have the four of cups, but we have the four of pentacles three times so this is telling me that you are stable you are you know doing well for yourself and these people are just invested in trying to find a way to sabotage you to bring you down or to create some sort of chaos or downfall in your life and the more and more they try the more and more this downfall is happening to them like i said these are not spiritually in tune people or they're not even religious okay because even in religion it tells you like you know whatever you put out is what you're going to get back so why would you work against yourself you know what i mean like it doesn't make sense so these people they're not spiritually in tune or they're not even religious like they don't even have they don't maybe not even believe in god like maybe they just go to church or they go to the mosque but in their heart you know because god knows your heart it doesn't matter if you go to church 24 7 if you your heart is dark that's what god is going to judge you on so only god knows your heart so I'm getting like, even if these people go to church, they, they pray all day or they go to the mosque and they pray all day. If their heart is black, this is why they're experiencing the Ten of Swords energy and they keep experiencing downfalls after downfalls, but they're not realizing it's because their heart is black. Like, why are you doing this? Okay, yeah, these people are weak with the strength card in reverse. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a couple. Like, we now we have a couple here. I'm telling you, man, it's more than one person. More than one person that is doing this to you or thinking these things about you. 
so who's keeping an eye on you yeah three of swords they they want to they want you to experience some sort of heartbreak or rejection but they feel rejected by you because you're leveling up in your life and you're at a place where they wish they could be but they're not and they're very frustrated about that that they can't be where you're at right now if some of you could be siblings that are older that are married or younger it doesn't matter their age but it could be siblings that were you know maybe secretly competing against you it could also be cousins but it's like it's giving me family vibes that were always competing against you always trying to bring you down making you feel like you're not successful or you're never going to be the reason why they were doing that to you is because they knew you were going to be successful they knew that you had what it takes to be very you know um, successful powerful in whatever field that you undertake and they didn't want to see that come to pass they didn't want to see that come to fruition because they were scared of how far you were able to go and now they're seeing it and now it's pissing them off okay they're really upset about that because the five of swords is here okay so you don't have to worry about anything just know that you know you have family members ex-friends some of you it's, it's ex-friends and family members watching you keeping an eye on you because they're seeing that you are actually working towards your goal and you're about to manifest like something really big in your life and they want to either they want to stop you with the ten of swords in reverse but it's not working or they want to collaborate with you but they don't want to collaborate with you for good reasons okay they want to collaborate with you so that way they could have some sort of access to you so whenever you get your big break they could stop it but it's not gonna happen because i feel like a lot of you already know that you kind of sense that intuitively that that's what they want to do so you're keeping them at a distance okay so we're going to be using the astrodized charmies and initials to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so it could be your sign or this person's sign okay so who's keeping an eye on you? My pile number three. Okay, so we have um, six house, Gemini. And we have Mercury. Wow, Gemini in his own house. That could be you or these people. And we have six house, which is Virgo's house. Okay. Who's keeping an eye on you? We have N X F G N T S N D Y F V double T I double L B E X c v okay so we have the cross i did say that these people could even if they are religious they may not really believe in god okay it just could be an act just to for for show um they know that you are protected they know that for sure okay they have been trying to send you negative vibe but it keeps going back to them they know that you're an angel they know that that's why they were trying to sabotage you okay this, these people um, feel like you're unique like a snowflake because each snowflake is unique it has a different shape not no snowflake is the same they think a lot about you at night they know that you're protected I keep getting a vibe that they know that you're protected maybe they try to do a reading on you yeah they know that you're a gift and that you're delicate like a flower that you're going to blossom wherever you go you're always going to be on top they know that okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye